The past is like baggage that you carry with you. We've, we talked about that before. It involves the sins and failures and mistakes of your life. It involves the hurt that you may experience. It might be a resentment that you have towards someone that you haven't processed. It's still inside of you. It might be enmeshments as relationships that, that, that you need to let go of in your life because they're still holding you back in the past. Somebody's still holding on to your life in some way, and you're enmeshed in that relationship. You haven't let it go. It might be regrets if I'd only done this or only done that. What you need to understand is that God wants to help you to get rid of all that is is a burden to your life, and all it is is poison to your relationships. If you're always dragging your past with you, listen, you don't have energy, you don't have the energy necessary to deal with the present because you only have a certain amount of bandwidth in your life. Just like anything else, you only have a certain amount of energy and you don't have the energy to deal with yesterday and to deal with the future, trying to control that. You have nothing left for the present, okay? And the only time you can actually live as it's been said, the present is called the present because it's a present, okay? It's your gift. It's what The only thing you have in your life right now is right now. You don't even know if you're going to be here tomorrow, okay? And if you're living in the past or trying to live in the future, you, you don't have any bandwidth for right now in your life. And so I want to help you really quickly here to understand how to offload this stuff. Here's the thing you have to do. Make sure you're receiving God's forgiveness. Our God is a forgiving God. If you confess your sins, he's faithful and just to forgive you, and he wipes the slate completely clean. He no longer remembers your sins against you. That is extremely important to understand. God forgives when you and I confess and turn away. And then you have to forgive yourself. This is the big part for a lot of people. What benefit are you receiving from continuing to condemn yourself for something that is in your past? What good is it doing to you? It's doing you absolutely no good at all. If God has forgiven you, then you need to then forgive yourself. 